Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Antoine from High Desert Pythons. In today's video, we're going to ultrasound quite a few females today. Um, everything from females that uh, that's not of age yet, that's probably not even sexually mature, so you get to see what it looks like uh, when they're not ready to go. You'll see some females that are of size and of age that may or may not be ready to go. You'll see some females that have the age on them, but actually not the size yet. And um, you'll see some ones that's ovulating and some that have legit eggs in them that's about to lay any day. I should be able to show you a couple of those as well. So you can see a range of all the things of what they look like as far as follicle and egg size under the ultrasound now. So this ultrasound, uh, I'll put all this information in the description down below. You can get on Amazon for about $1,000. And I'll go over some of the main features. I won't do the whole thing. I won't bore you about how ultrasound works. There's plenty of info out there. And if you're watching YouTube, you can legit hit the search button and put how does the ultrasound work. So I'll spare you all the crazy details about that. But before we go on, I want to give a shout out to the guys at Reptiles Unplugged. That's uh, Adam from Beach Bum Exotics and Joel from State 48. Um, I was on their podcast on their Veteran Day episode, so I'll put the link up here so you can go back and watch it after you watch this video. I think I was the first person, the first guest on that episode, so um, yeah. So um, without further, um, what we going to do, let's get it. First, we're gonna start with this uh, proven head clown female. Um, she had last season off, and um, I don't believe we even have to. I may have to say this, but um, I took all their water bowls out ahead of time. So I've been not seeing comments like, "Where's their water bowls?" So I can shut up. All right, so she's getting away. So I'm gonna try to do why everyone's in here. So first, take a little bit of this grease, a little bit of ultrasound gel. So, this nice little chain of follicles right there. You can see that. So, once I hit that, stay on there. I'm gonna start showing the video. So, once I get that, I'm gonna hit freeze on here. And that'll freeze most of them. And they're probably about different sizes. So, next, what I'm gonna do is go over to measure, hit set, choose distance. And then I'm gonna just pick two random points. Well, not two random points, but like the ends on both of them. Hit set here and set here. And that's gonna automatically show me the distance between them. So this says it's 13.4 millimeters. And then I can try this one right here, which is a little bit smaller one. Hit set, scroll over as straight as possible. Hit that, and that's about 12. So at the bottom, no matter how many points you pick, it shows you the average right here. So it's averaging about 12.8 millimeters, so just under 13. So um, for optimal breeding, you wanna make sure you got follicles between 15 and 17 millimeters, get them started, and they start growing after that. So what I'll do is check her again in a month, and this is the uh, proven head clown female number one. All right, this is my Volta head clown female. She's about uh, 4,000 grams. So we're gonna try her out. She hasn't bred for me in a few seasons. But uh, yeah, she's uh, definitely breeding size. So let's see if I can find anything in her. So there's two right there. Looks like one behind that one. So once again, hit freeze. Take that off. Scroll over to measure. Use the set button as enter. Distance. And then we'll do uh, for this one. I'll show you how when you do uh, horizontally and vertically measurement. So right here it's saying 
on 10.7 and then across it's saying 10.9 so it averages about 10.8 and then uh, this one right here let's just do another one hit set I hit it on a weird angle but it still averages out okay so they average about 10.5 millimeters so they're there they're just a little bit under so um, she still has some time so I'm gonna uh, pair her this year and see what happens in a month from now we'll come back and revisit proven head clown female so um, she went last year and uh, had three eggs and none of them made it and uh, she's put away back on nicely but she's still a little on the small side so I'm still giving her some time so actually I uh, Got some little small follicles right now. Got a few of them lined up actually. Nice little chain of them. Let's see if I can get a clearer picture. couple of small ones in a row I'm gonna guess about eight millimeters so measure again hit set distance six millimeters let's go across here yep about average six and a half millimeters But the fact that I can actually pick up follicles this good with this machine makes me happy. Yep, yeah, so about 6.4 millimeters. All right, this is the Fire Pie Girl. Um, I'm putting her to the uh, Asphalt Head Lab Mail this season. So let's see what she does. Alright, to check these two out. Ten point seven. She's already been paired once like a month ago, so hopefully these things grow at a steady rate. So 9.8, so somewhere around 10 millimeters on average, the two biggest ones, so we'll go with that. All right, this is the VPI Exanthic. She also went last year, so Let's see where she's at now. All right, so with this one, she got a couple different sizes. So let's take this bigger one here. Here. Do a couple of these kind of crooked, but so that 
that was about 9.3 and then this one in the back a little tiny one I'm gonna mess up my average a little bit so so the biggest one is about 9.3 that one's about seven and a half they're still kind of small so let's just go seven and a half millimeter on average so i'll take that number right here as well right there all right, so this is a uh, pastel head lavender she had last season off. I put her with the um, asphalt head lavender uh, maybe a month ago, and she's been off food for the past like four and a half weeks, and you see she's a little on the swollen side right now. So, and I'm pretty sure she's about to either go into ovulation right now, so her follicle should be around like 30 milliliters. masses right here these are either going to be eggs or slugs see how they're bunched together like that all right let's freeze that right there measure this guy out should be about 30 millimeters Yeah, about 35 so so she's definitely gonna go so about 30 35 millimeter range is usually when they ovulate and you will see if you notice like when I scroll back there that all of they were all clumped together in a big mass and that's usually what happens when they ovulate they all get stuck together and when you basically look at the female you see how swollen she is like she's been off food for about a month and a half now so um, yeah she's glowing a little bit brighter than she is so she's definitely gonna go so at this point it's no point to even um, pair anymore. So she only had one lock with the asphalt head lav. Or she could have retained sperm from two seasons ago, which I doubt. So I think she just caught one on. So like I said, at this point, there's no point to keep breeding her. She'll either have eggs or slugs. And um, we'll see what happens from there. And that's the uh, pastel head lavender albino to asphalt head lavender albino. So I'm looking for asphalt lavenders and pastel asphalt lavenders. All right, so this is a double head clown pied female. Um, she's obviously too young and too small to breed. I just want to show you guys what it looks like when they're not mature enough on the ultrasound to see if we can find anything. So I should uh, find pretty much nothing, but we'll look anyway. This young, that's pretty much nothing right there, so not gonna be fine anything. So this is a gravid female that's ready to lay any day now, so I'm gonna be like real light with her, so you can see what actual eggs look like inside of her. So pan back to ultrasound, I go nice and easy from the bottom to the top. You can already see right there, these are two eggs smashed together. And I'm just gonna slowly scan this to Gap right there. That's two. That's another egg together. There's three. So, and from end to end on the screen is about 40 millimeters. So, that's pretty much where that's at. So, I won't mess with it anymore. But that's what a completely uh, ready to lay female looks like. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I answered some of your questions. And by the way, that is the same type of ultrasound machine that you will get 
if you win the five and five contest that I'm running right now. So remember on Instagram when I hit 5,000 followers and when I hit 5,000 subscribers on this channel, I'm gonna do a drawing for um, someone to win one of those ultrasounds. So that should bring you know your breeding game up to the next level. So make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and make sure you are subscribed, okay? So like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you know every time a new video pops up. I appreciate you all. Till next time. Thank you.